everybody, it's Laura. Welcome to my channel. Today is a 911 story time video. So, if you're interested in hearing about the time I got a call um, from a lady saying that her boyfriend was trying to kill himself, then stay tuned. Okay, guys, so it was, you know, just a regular day. I always call my days just regular days because that's what I feel like they are. Um, no day is any more special than any other when it comes to 911. At least that's how I feel um, when I'm taking the calls. Um, so on this day in particular, nothing special was going on. So I pick up the phone, my recording, 911, what's the address of the emergency? And there's a lady on the back in the on the phone screaming. I hear a lot of commotion in the background. I hear um, like what appears to sound like a like a man voice, um, just being very aggressive, uh, just kind of loud. And she says, "My boyfriend is trying to kill himself." And I was like, "Okay, what is your address?" She gives me the address. She gives me the phone number, um, and I tell her, "Tell me exactly what happened." She said. I broke up with my boyfriend. He's been in my apartment today um, and he is trying to kill himself. I said, ma'am, does he have any weapons? Is he intoxicated? Like, what is he doing to kill him, like to harm himself? She says that he is taking his head and going to the wall and literally banging his head um, against the wall. And she said there's blood pouring out um, his head. Um, that he's not listening to anything so she says that there are two other people there his sister and his friend and they're really trying to calm him down but he just will not listen um, and so I'm like okay ma'am I need you to do whatever we can do I need you to try to stay calm ma'am we have help started to you but what I need you to do is try to stay calm um, in this process all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I hear, ah, boom, boom, boom. And this man is literally bashing his head into the walls as I am on the phone with his ex-girlfriend, I guess at this point. She is screaming. And so every time he bangs his head against the wall, there's like utter chaos in the room. They're just like, like people screaming all of the people that are there and he just wouldn't stop guys and the sad part about this this situation was that it was a busy day and sometimes as a 911 dispatcher you'll encounter that um, where your officers are not necessarily close to the location that they need to go to and so sometimes it takes a little while for them to arrive and I was on the phone the fire department had actually arrived already but they had to stand by because this guy was being violent um, towards himself and his girlfriend told me that he was not going to be happy that the police were coming um, she just was thinking that the fire department would come but in a case like that you have to send police and fire department I sat on the phone with with her for about 15 minutes while the police arrived and listened to him uh, repeatedly bash his head into the wall um, just be hysterical and um, that was hard that was very tough because I wasn't prepared for that you know you're never really prepared for any of it but when in a situation like that when it takes a while for an officer to get there because you have an officer coming from across town and it takes them a while to get there and you have to stay on the phone with your caller um, you're subject to hear everything so that's definitely something that you just really need to know um, if you don't know if your little ears can handle hearing that heavy stuff don't become a 911 dispatcher because you're gonna hear all types of things so this man uh, was doing all of this and uh, then the uh, police actually finally arrived and uh, he said you know it was clear for fire department to come in I had disconnected but what I found out was that once the police came in the guy got a little 
you know, a little wild and they had to try to calm him down. And then once the fire department came in, he had to be sedated um, because he was just so wild. And this guy was big for what his girlfriend told me. He was like over six feet, over 200 and something pounds. Probably closer to three, she said. Um, but he was just like a really, really big guy and it would take more than one person to try to calm him down. Um, I don't know if, I don't know if he was successful at killing himself. Um, he was still alive when the fire department came, so I'm sure that he, you know, he didn't. But these are just some of the things that you'll have to deal with. People calling um, because someone else is trying to commit suicide. Um, people calling because someone has told them that you know they want to harm themselves and so you just have to really be prepared um, for those things I, I don't know how to tell you to prepare for them um, you just have to expect the worst I, I did I expected the worst every single time I picked up the phone um, every single time just because that's what happened a lot you just the worst <laughs> So um, I hope you enjoyed this story time. Um, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, click the um, notification bell so that you can receive updates as soon as I post the video. Hope you guys are doing great. Thanks for watching. Bye.